Bailey Ballinger and today I'm going to share with you my summer reading list. Some of the books are my favorite books in the whole world and the other books I'm going to share with you today have either been recommended by you or I've seen the title of them and I just wanted to read them. So <laughs> these are my top 10 books to read for the summer plus a bonus because I don't think I could stop at 10. <laughs> Number one, The Mysterious Benedict Society. Mommy bought me all the books, but I've only read up to The Prisoner's Dilemma. I'm so excited that I have the whole set. This is the first book. It's about kids who don't have superpowers, but they have special abilities, and they use that those special abilities to become spies. Book number two, Matilda. This is a really good book. It's my mom's favorite book and it's one of my favorites. It's written by Rod Dahl who is an ama amazing author and he wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory which is also a really good book. But this is a book about a super small, smart girl who goes to school and it's, it's super fun. It talks about all the challenges kids can face at schools. But there's a really mean headmaster who has like the biggest punishments in the world and punishes kids for no reason. This is the Betsy Tacy Treasury. It's about three girls. Well, the, the second one is about three girls. The first one's about two girls who go on adventures and tell stories and do what normal kids do. And it's a really good book. And this is a Betsy Tacy Treasury, which has four books in it. This is Harry Potter, and it is one of my absolute favorite books. I read it when I was eight. It's about a boy who finds out that he's a wizard, and he goes to the school with all these weird magical things happening there. It's a whole series, and it has seven books and it's really good. <laughs> the Land of Stories. I lent my the first book to my cousin to read. This is the third book. I recommend you read them in order. They're all a super good story about uh, two kids who fall into the world of classic fairy tales, and it's really cool, and it's, it's just a really fun book to read. The Prince Warriors. This is a really good book. It's about four kids who travel into another dimension and they fight a bad guy, a very strange bad guy, who does not attack like a normal bad guy and takes advantage of your weaknesses. I love books like that. This is called The Penderwicks. This one we listened to as an audiobook in the car and it was really good. I pretty much forgot what it was about because I haven't read it in a long time. It's less fantasy, it's more about like a real family and what they would do. Kingdom Keepers. I'm still in the middle of this one, but it's really good. This book is about five teenagers who find themselves trapped in Disney World fighting Disney villains. These next three books I haven't read yet, but I'm planning to read them over the summer. Book number nine. The Borrowers. This book is about a few tiny people who are living inside of a house in secret and are worried about being discovered, but I haven't read it yet. I just know what it's about because I read the back. Book number 10, Tuesdays at the Castle. This book is about a magical castle and a princess who knows its secrets more than everyone else. I haven't read this book before, but I'm looking forward to it. My bonus book is Story Thieves. I'm super excited about it, and I think it's gonna be something like Land of Stories because the front looks like it, so. <laughs> have you read any of these books? If you have, please tell us in the comment section down below and tell us what you have what you have thought of them. And if you have any other book suggestions that is, are not right here, please tell me in the comment section down below because I'm always reading. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. <laughs>